<laughs> but this khutbah is not about history. And he, some brothers, it's all they want to talk about is the past. I want to talk about the past, but I also want to talk about the present. We just, in the month of September, we were out at Balboa Park doing some da'wah, calling people towards Allah. And somebody came up to me and they told me, how come you don't apologize for September 11th and for ISIS and for all this terrorism? I want you to apologize. So I told him that I will apologize. I got no problem with that. Right after you apologized to me for the 200 million Africans that were taken from Africa, the majority of which died, were killed on the way here. Why don't you apologize for that? I never got an apology. Why don't you apologize for being the only nation to ever drop a nuclear bomb on another nation? Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you think I forgot? You think my, my memory is that short? Think I'm a goldfish? I didn't forget. Why don't you apologize for those Japanese that were killed in those nuclear attacks? Why doesn't Mr. Trump, as his real name is, why doesn't he apologize for his ancestors from Germany? As far as I know, and some of you may know history better than me, there have been two world wars, right? Which one did the Muslims begin? Wait, none of them. Who started each world war? Wasn't us. Who did the Holocaust? Wasn't us. What is the apology for that? What is the apology for every innocent child that dies in a drone attack? What is the apology for that? Muslims were building this country. Muslims were building this country in Detroit, in California. Not 50 years ago, not 100 years ago. But before that, read the history of Islam in America. Muslims from America and Muslims from overseas. They came and built this country, go to Sacramento, and you look at how old the masajid here in California are, over a hundred years old. Go to the east coast, go see the masajid there, that have been there, that Muslims were building, while Mr. Trump's ancestors weren't even in this country. While he was immigrating illegally to the United States, we should have stopped him then. <laughs> when we want to talk about apologies, I'll expect an apology from Mr. Trump for his grandfather, a member of the KKK, as has been well documented. Google it. Pictures there. So don't ask us for an apology. And if Mr. Trump wants to put a Muslim ban, he wants to ban Muslims, we will tell him, this isn't your country to ban. This is the land of Allah, as every land is the land of Allah. And there are Muslims here that are here, that are going to be here. And if you don't like it, I would suggest he goes somewhere else. But I don't know where he's going to go. If he goes back to Europe, a lot of Muslims in Europe, I've been there recently. You go to Africa, you go to South America, you go to China, you go to Malaysia, you go to Japan, you go to the Antarctic, there's Muslims. So I would make a suggestion. If he wants to go somewhere where there is no Muslims, I suggest he goes to hell. Because in hell, a time will come that there will be no Muslims. My brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored us with this religion. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the same Allah that gave Nusra to Ibrahim alayhi salam, that gave Ibn Nusra to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, and the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, and all of those. And that same Allah has given us Nusra today. Don't think that the news is depressing, understand that the reality is that Islam is growing. Islam is growing everywhere. And know that our Prophet ﷺ has given us the glad tidings that this religion of Islam will enter every household. Every household. 